In Mississippi, we have a tremendous shortage and across the country that threaten the long-term viability of our livestock industries. We have counties in Mississippi that don't even have a large animal veterinarian. And as you well know, our food security and economic security are put at risk without sufficient veterinary oversight to ensure the health of animals in the food supply chain and the proper federal inspection of meat, poultry, and catfish processing. Uh, the USDA National Institute of Food and Agriculture, NIFA, mm -hmm. currently administers the Veterinary Medicine Loan Repayment Program to alleviate rural veterinary shortages by providing money toward educational loans of veterinarians who agree to serve in rural shortage areas. But despite the successes of this program, there are still critical shortages across rural America. One of the reasons for this that I think has been identified is that these awards from NIFA are subject to a federal withholding tax, meaning that 37% of the dollars appropriated to this program go right back to the Treasury. Without this tax, we could better address these shortage issues by helping more veterinarian practices where it is desperately needed. So something that we talk about a lot in terms of planning on how we can use some of these unprecedented investments in the next generation of ag professionals to train targeted areas like veterinarians for rural communities for large animal science. So I think that this is, you're right, There's a, this is an important issue. I would love to have an opportunity to talk more, maybe hear some of your thoughts on what you've learned in your, in your state. 